Billy, congratulations on a violent uh, performance like that. So what are the emotions now that you got? Looks, did you get some stitches up there? Yeah, I got. A, I think I got like seven or eight stitches. Uh, yeah, no, I feel great. It's a, just the best feeling in the world. Long, it's been a long training camp, and we, we put, I put so much work into this and so much time and effort and sacrifice. At getting a huge win like this, it's, it just means the world to me. It's, it was a great way to close out the year, and I'm getting ready for the next year now. When you were walking out, John Anik made a point to say, like, here comes the cardio king when you were walking into the octagon. And as people, we've watched Alex fight before, he kind of tends to fade as the fight goes on. So did you know he came out pretty strong in the first round, but did you know, like, later on this is going to catch up to him down the line? Yeah, I kind of had a feeling he was going to be super aggressive. He's super aggressive when he comes out. He has a, a bunch of wins by first-round knockout. So I knew as long as I can match that pace and he doesn't do too much damage that I could take over and start wearing him down and eventually break him. And obviously I didn't want to get my face busted open like that. Uh, but it, it, it actually, the, the game plan was very similar to what actually happened. Did you know he was going to be, well, when it happened, that he was compromised because of that swollen eye? It seems like that kind of put him on the back for a while. It, it, yeah, there was a point in the first round that I looked at him. I'm like, oh, man, he's kind of busted up already. And I, I, I got pretty confident. I'm like, all right, I'm going to start taking over now. But that's when he took me down and busted me up. Uh, but it was funny. In between rounds, I could feel, like, my face just dripping all over. And I didn't get a chance to look at it, obviously. But my coach goes, he's worse than you right now. Like, his face is worse than yours. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, there's no way his face is worse than my. Like, they couldn't even stop my cut. I'm like, there's no way he's worse than me. But I get what they were trying to do. And he, he did look pretty busted up. And uh, I obviously took advantage of it. They showed your corner cam. They were asking, like, when's your son's birthday? And yeah. And the, in the, in the, they obviously asked you what's 7 plus 5, and you <laughs> said 11. And there's that <laughs> because was your brain just scrambled in there? Yeah, listen, I got my son's birthday right. It is July 30th. But, yeah, that's – and usually usually my teammate, Matt Frivola, gets those easy questions wrong. Usually my math is pretty good. Uh, but when he mentioned my son and, like, when his birthday was, I – there was just it, something that I, I dug a little bit deeper. I, I wasn't even thinking about him until he said that. And then I didn't even care about my cut. At that point, you have to kill me to beat me. And I knew, I knew he wasn't ready for that. So this is your new son, right? So is it, was it different this camp at all? And now that you have one, knowing that you're a new dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, a father of a four-month-old, if you can tell by the birthday. Um, yeah, it was my first son. It was, uh, it's it changed my perspective quite a bit. Uh, Obviously, now I have, uh, you know, a mouth to feed and, and, you know, someone to raise. So I'm, I'm looking at myself through his eyes and being, trying to be a role model, trying to be a good father. So a lot of my goals have changed. A lot of my, um, my, my mental focus has changed because now it's, it's, I got a lot more on my plate now. Last one for me. You obviously, you have to wait for these stitches to heal. But when do you want to get back in there after this long layoff uh, in the yeah, so I've had, uh, it, it's been a tough year. I was supposed to fight Bill Elgio earlier this year, had an injury. So this was my first fight of the year, so I needed this one. It was, I put a lot of pressure on myself to end the year strong, and I had one chance to do it. So um, I'm happy to get the win. The stitches will be out hopefully pretty soon. I'm not too banged up. Um, so I talked to Sean Shelby backstage. I said, I want to be super busy in 2023. So I'm hoping to fight three times. So my first fight will hopefully be early next year. Are there specific names you want or just whoever they bring to you? Uh, well, Nate Landwehr called me out. I think I'm a little bit past him, but uh, he can get it whenever. Uh, if they want me to fight Nate, Nate Landwehr, sign me up. Um, there's some other guys. Top 15 sounds really good, too. I know I can compete with some of the top guys in the top 15, if not everyone in the top 15. So I just turned 34 two days ago. So I got, I got, I'm, I'm in my prime right now. I got, I got off to a little bit of a late start, but I'm ready for the top guys in this division. Thank you. Hey, Billy. Hey, what's up, Alex? Is it safe to say Daddy Billy Q is a mythical fighter? Yeah, Daddy Billy Q, Billy the Squid, uh, Billy, you know, I got, I got a lot of nicknames. No official nicknames yet, but yeah, Daddy Billy Q uh, definitely helped me get through that fight tonight. That's awesome, man. Um, talking about the top 15, um, is a fight with Edson Barbosa kind of uh, right up your alley? Yeah, that would, I would love that fight. I would love the Edson Barbosa fight. That was a fight that I was thinking about. Uh, going into the Burgos fight, that he'd be a guy down the road that I think I would match up pretty good with. Um, there's a lot of guys. In being five and two now, I felt like I was fighting for my job tonight. Even though I, you know, who knows really? You never really know. I knew I needed a strong performance though, and I think I got that. Uh, five and two with four finishes. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. Awesome, man. Congrats. Thanks, man. I erased everything that they had done. 
Hey, Billy, right here. What's up, man? Um, you know, obviously very exciting, but with the, the strength of this win, you're trying to stay active. Where do you see yourself in terms of the rankings and everything else about this time next year? <sighs> That's a good question. It depends, it depends where the UFC wants to go with it. I would love to fight. Like, I would uh, obviously have a number next to my name. I think I've proven that I've kind of earned that opportunity. Um, came up short against Burgos, but it was a pretty good, it was a competitive fight. Uh, Alex Hernandez was ranked forever at... 155, and I took him out, you know, finished him in the second round. I, I, I won that fight pretty good. Um, so we'll see. I got a, a lot of opportunities. I think I'm in a good spot in the featherweight division, and we'll see what the UFC wants to do. I, I rarely say no to fights, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.